Right, hey guys, before I go into this next race, I just wanted to share with you <coughs> my Simia Cube 2 True Drive settings for the Audi touring car. So, it's basically my regular profile, but what I found, <coughs> and you might um, be familiar with this if you do any oval racing, as you come up off the fringe onto the banked corners, it, it judders quite aggressively. Um, and I found that the Audi has a similar feel uh, when you're over the kerbs. Um, basically, when you're applying throttle and understeering, obviously, there's a lot of understeering on the front end of this car. So, what I've found is if you turn up the Simicube Force reconstruction filter there, I usually have it on five. <coughs> I've tuned that, turned that up to eight. Um, and that just smooths that out. Now, whether you want to um, go that way. Is entirely up to you obviously uh, one minimum fast um, is a little bit more direct a little bit quicker I feel the force is is a little bit more direct to your fingertips if that makes sense whereas that might slow it down a little bit but it definitely makes it more smooth which I personally prefer um, hasn't slowed me down I don't think so it might just be one that you want to give it a go. Personally, I avoided this Audi for quite some time because of the knocking. It was shaking my rig to bits. I'm only on a GT Omega Pro. It's not an 80-20 rig. It's not um, that sturdy. It's absolutely fine. It's doing the job. But um, there is a little bit of movement when I cut, like say, on the oval racing, when I go from the fringe to the bank, it, it does judder and the keyboard tray rattles. I've had to put some on there. I don't know if you can see that on the end. I've just had to bodge like a little bit of metal on the end of then gaffer tape that down just to stop the mouse from flying off um the worst thing about the gt omega pro that by the way the keyboard tray just um avoid it at all costs if i were you um it's hopeless really poor really lets uh lets the rig down as an entry level rig it's fine but uh anyway back to this um yeah give it a go if you want to um try it if you're interested in any of the settings they are down there the only thing i've changed i think i've turned these two from eight percent down to zero uh slew rate i've turned off i think that's the only thing obviously i've increased the overall strength to 72 percent which is 18.1 newton meters um which matches in the game as well i set the um game to the same and then adjust from there uh car to car but yeah, give that a go. Any car that feels like it's knocking, like it's jerking about, um, then turn up the SimiQ Force Reconstruction Filter and it'll smooth it out. Okay. Give us a like if this has helped you. Let us know in the comments if you're going to give it a go. And uh, if you haven't, subscribe to the channel. Cheers.